were looking back at the 1934 abduction of six-year-old June Robles through the lens of coverage in the New York Times. Credit April 26, 1934 June Robles is kidnapped on April 25, 1934, and buried in a metal cage in the Arizona desert. A note is then delivered to her family demanding a ransom of $15,000. Credit read the article in Time's Machine May 2, 1934 The family sends a note to the kidnappers with four questions for June Robles to answer so that they can know she is still alive. What do you do with your bunnies in the morning? What do you call corny? What is the name of Bettina's maid? Where is your little box with the key in it? Credit read the article in Time's Machine May 15, 1934 When I saw she was alive I could not believe my eyes or restrain myself, June's uncle Carlos Robles says. June can barely walk when she is lifted out of the box. One of the first things she asks about is her school report card, which she had left behind in the box. Credit read the article in Time's Machine May 15, 1934 Following June's rescue, an article looks back on the case with eyewitnesses of the kidnapping and the 1,000-person search party that scoured the desert. Credit read the article in Time's Machine May 16, 1934 Officials search for fingerprints on June's desert prison, hoping for a clue that would lead them to her abductors. Credit read the article in Time's Machine May 17, 1934 The first day I was there I cried, she says. I wanted my mama and my daddy. The men heard me and told me if I cried again they would whip me. I didn't cry anymore. Credit read the article in Time's Machine Deck, 19, 1936 June's capture remains a mystery after a grand jury finds that there isn't enough evidence to warrant the indictment of any person. Credit read the article in Time's Machine.